What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B. All day it's on my Donkey Kong, so let's get it popping. Today I'm bringing you in this beautiful little box an Oerla. Oerla. Um, this is one of those brands. I was just explaining it to someone who, um, you know, you see a bunch of knives come through a bunch of different makers, most of them that you haven't even heard of before. And they're very similar or exact and this and that. And what will happen is these brands buy a design and then they start um, putting their names on them and they get them out until they get popular and they start making their own designs and then their prices go up and it, it's like a big thing. It's how knife companies nowadays get made um, is by shared designs. And this one, I haven't really seen this design by a different one, so I don't know if this is one of their own, but I know they, they began with some shared designs. Um but these guys are doing pretty good for themselves right now. This is the or or Oerla. It's the um, O L H M dash zero one two. I think it's just called their field knife. I do believe, but it's basically a mini cleaver. And I have some specs behind the the camera, so if I'm looking away, that's probably why. So brand name O uh, Orla, or Oerla. Um, and they have it type as a small cleaver and let's get into it. Let's get into it. So the box is nice. You got some foam and it's cut into it and that's pretty nice. I like that. So the first thing you notice is that, all right, you have an ambidextrous, um, multi position, um, multi position, uh, pocket clip. And I do like that. It really helps out when you want to get things either, you know, you can make it straight like this from the belt. You can cock it. You can put it vertical. You can even hang it upside down. Anything you want. Um, that really, really helps out. These are good. Good, good to have. Um, but away from the Kydex sheath, which does have lashing points on it. And I think the lashing points might be, and I'm going to test right now the same size no they're not so you can't attach this down here unless it's at a crooked position I, I believe i believe i believe but let's get into speaking i believe i believe i could fly oh yeah um i'm gonna fly my ass right into this thing because this is pretty sweet um we are looking at a 420 hc hc not you know all you blade snobs out there 420 420 hc it's stone washed you have g10 handles you have eight inches overall with a uh, 3.6 uh, blade seven ounces yada yada it's pretty thick and it, it's textured you can see that it's textured all the way down this hill all the way up here which um which i think it's pretty cool i, I think it's cool how they left those um those grind lines and i don't know what kind of if it's stamped i have no idea how those lines are in there but the fact that they are and it's something that it looks like if they wanted they could have sanded down but didn't I like the fact that it didn't because I am digging it. Now, the grip has like a Rocky Mountain tread to it. And first of all, I love the look of the Rocky Mountain tread. Second of all, it makes for a very, very comfortable grab. You do have a little uh, finger notch here, a handle choil, and you have some pretty damn aggressive uh, jimping for your thumb right there. Now, it is not a true... Um, second edge, but this swedge is pretty darn swedged. Um, your edge does come all the way across the top, and the edge does come mighty sharp. Mighty, mighty sharp. And I mean mighty, mighty sharp. So this company really, I mean, look at that. Look at that. If I put this outside tomorrow, there's going to be three little birds on my doorstep sitting in there laying eggs man this thing is freaking edged well and the and the edging um maintains all the way through the tip so i can even shave Woo! i can shave do you see that with literally the end of this blade i think that's pretty cool 
tip is very well done. Um, the grinds are great. I love the shape of this. Got people coming in and out. Um, it's just all in all and overall a really, really nice looking knife. And um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a utility knife all day long. Uh, let's see. I just got a text. That was my daughter leaving. She's going somewhere. Um, so, so you have your clear. I mean, you could use this anywhere from the kitchen to campsite, uh, and this thing is going to do you well, even as a defensive blade. You do not need a long, pointy tip to defend yourself with. You just need something edged or a hand of dirt. That'll help. Um, so what I want to do is I want to take this thing outside and I want to give it a go around and see how she holds up. I am um, really, really comfortable with the feel of this guy in my hand. I want to give you guys a price on this real quick because I know they're cheap. 30 bucks. 30 bucks free shipping is what you find it for on eBay. Um, and... <laughs> I mean, just just coming out of the box, I'm telling you that this is definitely worth being a thirty dollar knife. This high grind, this high, I think it's a, uh, it's either a high flat or a saber grind, is really really well done. It's even on both sides. There's no jacked up areas. Um, they did a, an amazing job, an amazing job on this little knife. And you can even see the little Oerla. And that's um, Oerla. I know it's written on there. It's written on there, guys. O-E-R-L-A, just as it says right there in the computer. So we're going to take this outside, and we are going to see how well this little guy does right here. And so far, I am absolutely, I'm absolutely freaking lootly digging it. Almost as much as a leather Captain America hat. Oh, yeah, don't be jealous. Um, so... Let's get outside and play with it. Okay, so since first things first was the introduction, we're gonna just get right on to second things second. And we're gonna go through an aluminum can, or at least I think we will. The hardest thing is going to be to make sure I don't short shot it. I wanna get all the way through this guy. Woo! I found a way to wet myself, and this time it wasn't in my pants. Check that out. Oh yeah, let's keep going, let's keep going. You know, I think if Vegas ever gets a hold of my videos, they're gonna, stay t uh, they're gonna start taking odds on how long it takes for me to start yelling at, to get these dogs back in the yard. All right, so we just went through the aluminum can. The edge feels good. What I'm gonna do, cause I'm unshaven, is I wanna see after the aluminum can, oh, oh, oh yeah, after the aluminum can, <laughs> I don't know if you can see all that, but uh, it is still trying to get get into there here. Still here, man. It's just so nicely taking off all the hairs off my uh, off my chinny chin chin hair. So after an aluminum can, it's still shaved sharp. Now with a flat tip, with that pry bar style tip. I'm not sure if we can do a drop test, but we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try four foot drop. See how the balance is. Hey, look at that! Four foot drop, and that flat tip is still sharp enough to penetrate and stick in. So I'm gonna do hard downward throws, and we'll see how the scales hold up. And the good thing about the scales is even if they do loosen, they're just hex screws, so we can tighten them right back up. So that's pretty good. And there is a lanyard hole, forgot to say that, who cares. I'm gonna throw it backwards to get the tip down. Man, I'll do it forward too, let's try that. See if that works. Bam, of course it does. And, holy crap, holy crap, I wanna show you. Holy crap. So, that's how much of that flat blade was in there. Oh, I got a phone call coming in. Hold on. All right. When the VA hospital calls, I listen. All right. So let's do a little bit of, a little bit of prying here. A little bit of prying with this, with this old 420HC. And I'm telling you, it's not just prying a little. It's prying a lot. That's, that's pretty good. No tip bending or anything like that. Um, let's find a, let's find an end to this rope here. 
We have this nylon rope. Let's give it a nice push. Oh my gosh. Watch this, guys. Watch this. That is butter smooth. I didn't even give it a full press. And normally what I'll do is I'll jam it in there. I didn't have to because this thing is so sharp. It just ate. I'm talking ate straight through that stuff. That um, That is pretty, pretty good. Let's see. This edge, this edge is phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. So, how phenomenal? Look at this. Look at that feathering. That is just nice. Now, it's a short knife, so you think it's not gonna make a good chopper, but um, I don't know. This knife has some secrets because it's chopping. Let's get rid of some of these feathers that we just made. Look at this, look at this. When you're talking of a blade under four inches, it's not supposed to chop like that. Oh my gosh, you see how much came off of there? Holy moly. So, um, so yeah, this guy right here is a wood shaver. You know, they, they list it as like a mini cleaver. And you'd think that this is going to be your camp kitchen knife. Holy crap, I could process. I could process Bigfoot with this thing. Man, let's see. I don't have a baton out here. I just don't have one. I have a little stick. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. We don't we don't need a baton. Who needs a baton? Alright, so let's try that some more. <laughs> a baton. What kind of what kind of animal am I? Alright, let's see. Let's let's try some more. 420 8C. And this thing is a little tiny beast all right let's go we got some hard vacuum cleaner hose down here so let's uh put that right there and we'll just <laughs> eat that away like it doesn't even matter like it doesn't even exist we got some sports cone action right here we'll just punch that down and we'll pull and it comes through like freaking paper oh my gosh i am i am loving this i am loving this Let's see if we can't uh, see if we can't knock that lock out a little piece of square part here. Let's see. I could really use a baton for this, but I'm just gonna make do because I like to use the word doo doo in a sentence. So let's do what we do. See if we can't knock some of this off of there. Holy mackerel! Holy mackerel! All right. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to square that up because I just don't have a baton with me. I do, but it's way over there where we're gonna be walking in a minute anyways, but I just can't do it. All right, so let's try and square this out as best we can, just like that, because I wanna get a downward, a downward swing here. Okay, let's see, that's pretty good. I split it all the way to there. You can see the little crack in it. And that was, I didn't catch that all the way at the end. I caught it way up here instead of here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that crack is right there. Oh, money in the bank. So now what I want to do is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use that false edge. That little swedge action right there. And let's see. You can hammer on the edge of this knife and cut with the swedge. So now after hammering on the edge, let's test it out. Literally hammering on the edge. Let's see here. <laughs> How do you like them apples? All right, so we have this we have this nice jimping back here. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can notch with it. Let's see if we can notch with it. I'd say uh, I'd say that's a successful notch. In my book, that's what I would call it. All right, speaking of notching, let's go with a true, a true, oh my God, the bite is ridiculous. The bite is ridiculous on that. Oh, where, where have you been all my life? I was not born yet, senor. That's why. Okay, so let's, oh my goodness. So I have to say this notch is better than uh most knives I've used, and I use some pretty expensive knives a lot of times. Look at that square notch. Oh wait, you know, let's use, let's use this. 
Let's use it, see if we can't get through it. Let's see if we can't get through it. Oh, I punched the log. All right, but it looks like we got through. We got through on doing that. So, so this thing, I mean, if you need to make spear tips, if you need to make arrows, if you just need a pointy stick to defend yourself with, if you need marshmallow sticks, if you got to make um, pit spikes to trap animals, if you got to make a, uh, a spear for fishing, man, tent spikes, this thing right here is so good. So now what I want to do is I want to just use the, the tip, right? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's just using that end. That is pretty A-OK. -okay. Um, there's not much, you know, we're going to do. It's, it's a smaller size knife. Um, basically showing you that it cuts. Showing you that it stays sharp. Showing you that it's, you know, strong. You can baton with it. All that crap. It doesn't take much to show you that. And I believe this knife is showing you that. I mean, all the way around the bend. It's doing everything I want it to do. So uh, let me see. Let me see if I can't back up here and see if I can't throw it backwards. Uh oh, kind of hard to do on this angle, but we're gonna try one more time. And if I can't get it, we're gonna go to uh, go to a, a better throwing area here. Oh, <laughs> it hit! <laughs> it hit, but it fell. All right, so. That tells me that we might be able to throw this thing. We just might. All right, so I was just walking over to my my throwing stump here. And while I was walking, I just let it go. And this is what I got, how deep. So, holy crap, that was in there really good. So I'll show you. I was way back here when I threw it. And I was literally just walking. Let me put the phone on there. And I threw it. Uh-oh, and I missed that one. But I threw it, and it was just a perfect hit just while I was walking I wish I, I had it on record because I didn't expect to throw it I usually set up and then throw but uh, oh man the gnats out here are getting me oh I hit the same spot I am getting absolutely devoured in gnats guys it's bad I'm throwing it upside down to try and get that tip around <sighs> okay I'm not gonna be able to stay out here too much longer oh my gosh <laughs> You can see right here is where I just hit it. So it hit just like this and then rolled over. That was a perfect strike and it just carried too far. Let me throw one more before before I get taken away like the, the flying monkeys. These gnats are like the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz. There we go. All right, so I knew it wouldn't take long. But it did the same thing as, as this hole right here. It hit and then rolled. Luckily, it was a good stick. So the ones I was hitting up here, I realized as I threw it because of the shape and throwing it reverse, it was rolling and I was hitting it almost sideways. So as soon as I straightened out my throw, I hit here and it rolled. And then I hit here and it stuck. So can you throw a cleaver? I just freaking did. So... uh so that answers that question that nobody was asking. Um, I'm telling you guys, this thing right here for 30 bucks is uh, $30 worth it. This is a fun little blade, man. Just sharp. And I wonder, let's see. Let's see if we have, ah, here we go. I see one. I see one. I see one. What about, and I know you're all wondering, what about hide? Can it go through? So I got to one of the soccer balls over here. Let's just put you guys at an angle there and find a nice spot to dig through. <laughs> well, that was simple. And now we will just rip. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh I'm not even in the camera. So all that right there just happened. Okay, let's try that again. See if I can get you. Ah, keep you in camera. I poked it through so far. I stabbed myself in the finger. All right. Man, these gnats are awful. It's fun being a greasy Italian during gnat season. Oh, let me tell you. Okay, so here we go. So that is just opening 
opening up this leather. So can I use this out in the field? Hell yeah. I could use it on wood. I could use it on, on animal. Uh, it's just cool, guys. It's just cool. You don't see too many knives like this that are, you know, considered to be uh, versatile. Can I cut up some hot dogs? Easy freaking money. Some steaks and all that without a problem. Can I use the jimping to uh, make myself a nice notch for maybe like a tent line or a bowstring? That is no problem. Um, it's just an all-around cool little knife. And uh, I say little, but it's a, a good enough size to defend yourself. You know what I mean? This thing is a gut puncher. It's a throat opener. So when you get attacked by Bigfoot, because we don't talk about hurting people. Um, woo, Nat! Maybe that's why I need to attack. Uh, this thing, this thing will do the job. This And not being a long point on the knife, uh, that could be... Uh, the difference in uh, legality reasons for certain states if you have issues with carrying a knife having something like this that has a flat end might really really help you in those kind of areas let's see if we can get it in the sun um oh that's so pretty let me get my face out of there because that's not so pretty but um as far as you know police are concerned having a cleaver style which you can say hey man this this is my my go-to kitchen knife when i'm on the when i'm on the go uh, they can't deny it. It's a, it's a pry bar. You know what I mean? It's, it's a pry bar with the pry end is sharpened, but that's it. And because this is a swedge, it's not a double edge. So for you guys who live in states where you can't have a double edge, um, this is still okay. Uh, for you guys who live in a state where you can't have some big clip point hanging out of your pocket, this is still okay. Um, for those of you who can't have a blade more than four inches, this is okay. So this is going to cover a lot of those bases, um, for, uh, legal purposes, but it's still going to be able to defend yourself just as easy as one of those that are illegal in your state. So, I mean, it's a, uh, this is a, a true, a, a true multitasking knife right here. There, I can't think of much as far as knives this size that I'm not going to be able to do with this. I can't think of much that, um, with a clip point that I wouldn't be able to do with this. I could even do bow drill holes, you know what I mean, with this tip. Um, it's just, uh, it's just an all around good knife, man. You use this for, for hunting, fishing, camping, just around the house, uh, or just on your belt when you're out for a jog or a walk. You know what I mean? This little guy right here could never know, could be your lifesaver. This could take open that seatbelt, you know, any, anything, anything. This is, it's sharp enough and compact enough and shaped well enough to be able to handle just about any task you're going to have. So, um, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Um, I had to yell to mask that toot. <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. So, so that's it, man. Um, it's Oerla is how it's spelt. If that's not how you uh, pronounce it, then my bad. And I think I lost a dog. So that's it for that. I'm Donnie B all day. Until next knife. Wow.